Hello, it's the last day of term today and I wanted to take the opportunity to say hello to you and to wish you a happy Christmas and also to read you a story. Uh, I know we've been thinking a little bit about Christmas this week and Christmas traditions. I wanted to read you the story of the first Christmas, a story of good news. It's very short but then I'll just say a few words after that. The first Christmas. Good news, said the angel to a girl named Mary. God is sending someone special into the world. He will be a great king. His name will be Jesus. And guess what? God wants you to be his mother. Good news, said the angel to a carpenter named Joseph. God is sending someone special into the world. He will rescue everyone from the wrong things they've done. He will be God's own son. But guess what? God wants you to take his mother Mary as your wife and raise little Jesus as your own. Bad news, sighed Joseph to Mary. The rulers of our country want to count us to see how many people there are. And to make it easier for them, well, we've got to go back to our own hometown. That means a trip all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And with the baby due so soon, bad news, sighed the innkeeper, shaking his head. There's not one room left in Bethlehem. But seeing as the young lady's expecting a baby and all, why don't you spend the night in my stable? Good news, smiled Joseph, handing the baby to Mary. It's a boy, just as God promised. God's own son, there in your arms, Jesus. Good news, called the angel to the shepherds on the hill. God has sent someone special into the world. The someone that you have been waiting for. If you hurry to Bethlehem, you can see him for yourselves. He's just a baby now, wrapped up warmly, lying in a manger. But one day he will save you from all that is wrong. One day he will bring you peace. Then the angel filled the sky with a good news song. The shepherds went to Bethlehem and made a good news visit. And on that very first Christmas day, Mary just watched and rocked her baby and smiled a good news smile. And there's a lovely picture of them all celebrating the good news. I think that's a lovely story, a good news story. I wonder what you think about news. Do you like getting news? I think if you were to ask some of your parents about the news that they're getting at the moment, they might be a little fed up. A lot of our news seems to be about COVID that's the pandemic, the illness that has been affecting so many people. And it does tend to be pretty bad news at the most of the time. Today in Buckinghamshire, we moved into tier three and that's pretty bad news as well. What it means though, is that we have done so brilliantly keeping ourselves safe this term, keeping ourselves and each other safe. And we've got to keep spreading that good news as a school. We need to keep our good news message. We haven't had anybody who has become ill with COVID in our school this autumn term. And a lot of that is because you have been brilliant in washing your hands, in keeping distance from each other when you can. There's a poster 
that goes around that says hands, face, space. Hands, we need to keep washing them. We've done so well over this last term. And even though we stop school, we still need to keep washing our hands. Whenever you go out, when you come back home, wash your hands. Many of us are now needing to wear face masks, especially if you go into a shop or you're close to people. It's about protecting you and protecting other people. And we need to have space. Hands, face, space. We need to keep distance from other people so that we don't pass on this disease. So we need to respond to the news that we've heard and do our bit so that the news that we hear and the news that we spread is good news. I've got some good news for you today. Not only have we not had anybody that's been ill this term, but today is the last day of this term. That's good news. We all need to have a holiday, your teachers included. And it's good news that next Friday will be Christmas Day. It's going to be a wonderful time for all of us to celebrate with our friends and with our family. But remember that in order for this to be good news, we need to keep safe and we need to practice hands, face space. So let's make sure that we continue to share that good news, but also to be good news. You and I can be good news to other people around us. We can be good news in the way that we help. We can be good news in the way that we play with our brothers and sisters. We can be good news in the way we behave. So let's look to be good news as we enter this lovely Christmas holiday period. Keep safe, keep well, and have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday the 5th of January. Please don't come to school. It's good news we have inset day on the Monday. It's been lovely to be able to share this story with you today. And I'm just sorry that I can't be in school to wish you a happy Christmas as well. Take care of each other.